In 1928, Paul Dirac wrote equations that predicted the existence of antimatter. Dirac showed that every electron has a twin, exactly identical, but of opposite charge. As Dirac saw it, the electron representing matter and the positron representing antimatter are mirror images of each other. What was very odd is that it soon became clear that our universe is made of matter, not antimatter. Understanding why we have a matter universe and not an antimatter universe is one of the most important questions in modern cosmology because it could help expand or perhaps even challenge aspects of the standard model. Dirac also noticed something very odd about the light photon and said the light quantum or photon has the peculiarity that it apparently ceases to exist when it is in one of its stationary states, namely the zero state, in which its momentum and therefore also its energy is zero. When a light quantum is absorbed, it can be considered to jump into this zero state, and when one is emitted, it can be considered to jump from the zero state into one in which it is physically in evidence, so that it appears to have been created. Since there is no limit to the number of light quanta that may be created in this way, we must suppose that there is an infinite number of light quanta in the zero state. This statement by Dirac is very interesting because it is when light waves interact with the electron probability cloud of an atom that there is the annihilation of antimatter. There can be an objective understanding of this if the universe is explained as a continuum of continuous energy exchange that we see and feel as the passage of time. The annihilation of the antimatter can represent the past at the smallest scale of the process that forms the passage of time. In these videos, this is explained as a universal process. One photon equals zero, T equals zero, the moment of now, within an individual reference frame. Each photon only interacts once, and then it is gone forever, with each photon-electron coupling, or dipole moment, representing a new moment in time, the moment of now, within a process of continuous energy exchange that forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life. The zero in the Dirac equation that predicts the existence of antimatter also represents t equals zero, the moment of now, within an individual reference frame. We have an infinite number of dynamic reference frames continuously coming in and out of existence within our universe. Dirac said that when a light quanta or photon is emitted, it appears to have been created. This is logical if the light photon represents an emergent future with the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer. What Dirac saw as an infinite number of light quanta in the zero state would be a potential for infinite possibilities with wave-particle duality acting like a blank canvas that we can interact with. As atoms, we have an emergent future relative to the energy and momentum of our actions. 
with the potential to turn the possible into the actual. In such a theory, it would be logical to have uncertainty at the level of the individual atoms represented mathematically by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. The Planck constant is a constant of action in the geometrical process that forms the flow of time. The mathematics of quantum mechanics represents the physics of time as a physical process with classical physics representing processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.